Have you ever considered how your eyesight relates to your brain and your cognitive function? In this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Solomon Gould will be discussing the connection between vision and cognition and new technology for cognitive vision testing. Dr. Gould? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of OcuTalk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us from Scenic Eye Care in St. Paul, Minnesota, Dr. Solomon Gould. Dr. Gould, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Nick, for having me. It's an honor to be a part of this great platform you guys have launched, and uh, thanks, thanks for uh, allowing me to come on a little early here this morning before starting patient care. Hey, well, absolutely. Thank you again for joining us. We appreciate it, uh, th taking the time out of your day. Uh, Dr. Gould, before we get started, I was hoping that maybe you can uh, talk a little bit about your background and your specialty to our viewers. Most definitely. Uh, thank you for the opportunity again, Nick. Um, I'm an optometrist, actually, out of the Twin Cities of, of Minnesota, and I have two wonderful private practices and two stellar teams. And on the side, and no doubt my greatest passion in life is actually helping teach other doctors how to be more successful at their practices as well as how to better care for the patients and frankly do it all at the same time. Again, thank you so much for joining us doc today, Dr. Gould. Uh, for our discussion today, we were kind of hoping you could discuss uh, cognitive vision testing. What exactly is cognitive vision testing? Yeah, thanks for asking, Nick. So this particular topic is a very high level one at this, po at this point. So cognitive testing, to give you a clip notes answer, is quantitating the processing of our vision. In eye care, we do a lot of testing vision. We do a lot of preserving vision, but there's so much more to vision than just the vision received. There's a lot of processing that takes place throughout the brain. And we now have the ability to quantitate that capability. And it comes in, in various forms, but right now the, the most popular in that which I personally utilize is a technology called Cognitive Thrive or Cognitive Youth Thrive. And so cognitive vision testing is the ability to quantitate our ability to process that vision. And it's, it's really cool because as you can see in the industry, a lot of eye care professionals are seeking modalities above and beyond just vision, not just to set themselves apart, but to more, more importantly, better care for their patients. Excellent. Thank you for that information, Dr. Gould. We do, do appreciate it. And uh, Dr. Gould, how does our vision relate to our cognitive function? Yeah, great question, Nick. You know, amazingly enough, uh, there for several years, there's, there's been a lot of research that shows that the relationship between vision and cognition is not only a strong one, but more recently, we have found in a lot of recent research, one especially uh, out of 2020, this was a meta-analysis uh, consisting of over 48 million participants. And they found that the relationship between vision and cognition is actually bidirectional. So good vision lends to preserving cognition and, of course, vice versa. And a poor vision actually accelerates cognitive decline and vice versa. So this is really uh, important for our industry because it, it, gives, it lends credence to the importance of that, that routine preventative eye care. But now we know how much more it does beyond just helping them see better. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Gold. And does that actually change with age and can it be improved? That's a phenomenal question. We have found that over time, if, if, you, can, I, if you can identify one's vision and, and how well their vision is and correlate with their cognitive function, as we now know that relationship is bidirectional, if you screen that throughout life, you can actually help preserve along the way and introduce modifiable risk factor changes or changes in vision correction to preserve that. So you can actually prevent a lot of significant decline along the way just by seeing that patient on an annual basis. Excellent information, Dr. Gould. I appreciate it. And what kinds of tests are available and what's involved with those tests specifically? Yes. Uh, at this moment, there is one and one only technology that is FDA cleared, and that is called CogniView. Now, CogniView has different technologies that it utilizes. Uh, the most commonly utilized in commercial, basic commercial practice is called the Cognitive Thrive. 
So this particular technology consists of a very small unit that's about the size of a laptop or as I like to say, a George Foreman. And so it has a really small footprint and um, its testing modality is, is, is wonderful. It's very efficient. It's only a five minute screening. It can be actually done by anyone in the office. It doesn't have to be done by the doctor. So in my practices, my staff do the screening with the patients as part of their actual their clinical workup. So then when I come into the room and see the patient, that's already been done for me. And then at that time, I go over it with the patient. Dr. Gould, so how long does the process actually take? Yeah, so the, the, the screening itself, funny enough, it's only five minutes. Uh, there is, however, a preliminary video setting the patient up for success, i.e. telling him how to take the test beforehand. And then following the test, uh, or as more accurately screening, they also then have a video talking about the ways that they can modify their lifestyle factors to help improve and preserve their cognition. Perfect. Excellent. And how, how do these tests actually detect a decline in cognition? Uh, I'm curious. Yes, this technology, it actually assesses cognition in the three domains of our cognition that we can quantitate. And those are executive function, which is responsibility of the frontal lobe. Uh, it also quantitates memory or short-term memory specifically, which transcends into long-term memory. And that is the responsibility of the temporal lobe. And then lastly, it also assesses and quantitates the, what we call visual spatial capability, which is the responsibility of the parietal lobe. And in addition to scoring all three of these metrics, it also gives the patient a quantitation of both their reaction time and their processing speed. So by quantitating information, we have not subjective data, but we have objective data. Now, you might be familiar that there are several cognitive tests out there that are done in MD settings, such as the SLUMS test, MOCA, MMSC, et cetera. A lot of that is subjective. And what's unique about the quantitative and the objective approach with this FDA cleared technology is that unlike those other tests that have uh, substantial false positives, false negatives, and demographic biases, this is purely objective and it's bulletproof. So it has superior test and retest reliability. Well, excellent. Thank you again for that information, Dr. Gould. And so I'm curious, what happens next? Like, let's say like a patient doesn't get their, that necessarily the, the best results. Uh, what, what would happen after that? Yes, the technology comes with an incredible plethora of support in many different ways. Uh, first and foremost, if a patient, you identify that they are, let's just say in a you know, mediocre stage or, or, more active, or more severely into a poor stage of their cognition, you as the provider can only plant the seed and highly recommend that from there they, they see their primary care. And I've done over 700 in the last year alone. So I've had a lot of these scenarios, but you educate them, you refer them onto their primary and onto hopefully a neurologist. Now, in many cases, it's like anything else, that's the patient's choice from there, right? Um, but let's say that patient has a lot of questions, they're really anxious. The Cognitive View platform offers what we call wellness coaches. So there's a phone number they can actually call and they can talk with a, a, you know, an RN or medical provider of some kind that's well-versed in this area. So there's support from all areas, both on the front end and on that, that, that touch point. Excellent. Again, Dr. Gould, thank you so much. And I know we talked a little bit about today about some new technologies, uh, but do you know of any new technologies or new developments that are on the horizon that we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a nut about anything technology and healthcare and combining the two to better advance our, our approach with patients and the quality and the caliber of the care itself. I am a huge proponent of holistic preventative care. So what I've done in my practices and the technologies, I, I highly recommend it for anyone. Number one, Cognitive View. It's, it's becoming a, a, what I like to say the, the gold standard or the, the standard of clinical care. Um, as part of the workup. Another one would be the biophotonic scanner uh, that's made by Pharmanex. And the biophotonic scanner, I have one in each of my offices as well, it gives you the patient their oxidative, uh, what we call the carotenoid level, their ability to fight off oxidative stress, which is responsible for aging and many diseases. Uh, another one would be Neurolens. Neurolens has done a remarkable job at helping patients uh, find solutions to a lot of symptoms, a lot of symptoms out there, eye strain, headaches, neck and back pain, et cetera. So that one I'm a big fan of as well.
and then there's there's a long list. I, I'm all about anything preventative, um, and there's many there are many technologies out there like Diopsis and you know Adaptex, Maculogix. They all do it have done a great job of building something that helps patients, you know, a increase their awareness and b take control of their vision. Well, that's excellent developments and technology we can be on the lookout for. Thank you, Dr. Gould. And uh, before we leave today, was there anything that you'd like to tell our audience? Anything exciting? Yeah, sure. You know, uh, well, I have a little one on the way, so that's exciting. Uh, oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my uh, first. So life is about to change pretty dramatically here. Definitely. And uh, uh, beyond that and more into the industry, you know, I, I really think um, for all of us, you know, we're not quite out of the Delta variant in any way, shape or form at this point. But I think we're all starting to get a, a sense that there's hope that with the right, you know, um, processes in place that we'll soon be able to brush shoulders once again in industry and really get out there and be with each other. I think there's something that the human spirit truly needs uh, that that personal contact at some point. So although it may not ever be the same again, I think, um, you know, it's exciting that we're at least moving into this next uh, wave, if you will. So. That's exciting. Yeah. All right. That was Dr. Solomon Gould uh, from Scenic Eye Care in St. Paul, Minnesota. Dr. Gould, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks again for having me, Nick. Appreciate it.